So let me break down the anatomy of a forest plot for you. A forest plot is how we represent the results of a meta-analysis. In the forest plot, we have this column here on the left that has individual studies included in a meta-analysis. So in this case, each of these studies, each of these authors represent one different publication. These were studies published at different times, at different locations, all over the world. But they all had the same thing in common. They were exploring the same outcome in different populations, comparing the same two strategies. In this case, dual versus single antiplatelet therapy after bypass surgery. Well, each line represents the results of any given study. So for example, in this case, Lopez 2013 had one outcome out of 109 patients in the dual antiplatelet therapy group and then in the single antiplatelet therapy group, there was one patient with the outcome among 128. So each line represents the results of one individual study. But over here at the bottom, we have the pooled outcomes of all the different studies. And this is exactly what a meta-analysis is. A meta-analysis is the quantitative synthesis of the results of different studies, as long as they are similar to each other. That's exactly what we have. Over here, we have the summary statistics, in this case, the odds ratio for each individual study and then of the meta-analysis itself. We also have here a graphical representation on the right, wherein each, each square in the center represents the point estimate of an individual study and the line represents the confidence interval. And over here we have this diamond that represents the actual result of the meta-analysis. In this case, an odds ratio of 1.31, that's the center of the diamond, and then the extremes, the width of the diamond, represents the confidence interval itself. Over here at the bottom we have the p-value for the meta-analysis, in this case a p-value of 0.03, which indicates that the result was statistically significant increasing the outcome in the dual antiplatelet therapy group because the odds ratio is above one. And then finally, in this line, we have a measure of heterogeneity. Heterogeneity is how this, each individual study differs from the others, how their results differ between each other. In this case, we can see that there is no heterogeneity, that it's very low or no, no evidence of heterogeneity in this meta-analysis. So that's a forest plot broken down to you according to its anatomy. Remember that the final result is here in the bottom with the summary statistics of the meta-analysis, the p-value here as well.